Hey everybody, apparently there's some asshole that thinks confederate flags is cool, and he's in Detroit. Wrong place to be, my nigga. Confederate flag controversy in Macomb County. A man is accused of offending some of his neighbors for deciding to fly the flag right in front of his own home. Some. Now the city's mayor is weighing in on this. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury is in Roseville tonight with why he's displaying it in the wake of the violence in Virginia. There may be two American flags out here, but as of last night, there was a Confederate flag right near that door. But the man who lives here has taken it down since we're in front of his house. He Bitch tells ass us nigga. that he is an Army veteran who got injured in Iraq, and those injuries impair his speech. But it's clear what the, the fuck that got to do with anything. To Trying to get sympathy and shit. That means not welcome. Not welcome? No. Who's not welcome? Go ahead and say it. Arabic people, black people. This man did not want to give us his name, but he did not mind giving us his opinion. He has Nazi symbol tattoos like this SS and says he supports Hitler because he is of German descent. And what would you say to people who are offended okay. by this? I don't have anything to say. We got tipped off about the flag when a Facebook user saw it as she drove around Roseville Tuesday. The man tells us he's an army veteran who was injured in Iraq. He says his injuries impaired his speech, but not his freedom of speech. He patiently answered our questions <laughs> and respectfully fuck. referred to me as ma'am. But he says he does not regret putting up the Confederate Damn flag. right he don't. He got the that damn symbol on his line. Like One man tells us this is not reflective of the Roseville community. Hell no. Nah. a lot of people, though. Mm -hmm. You know... If a person wants to make that statement, give them all the elbow room he wants, you know, let him expose himself. Again, the man yeah, expose down, yourself. tells us he may put it up after we leave. We talked with several neighbors. Pussy. And some said they didn't mind the Confederate flag, but we couldn't get them to say that on camera. Now, we did get a reaction from the Roseville mayor, and he gave us this statement saying, The city of Roseville does not promote the flying of a Confederate flag by anyone, but it is the right of our citizens to fly one if they feel it's necessary, which is a right given to them by our U.S. Constitution. He also tells us that Roseville does not support racism and he plans on having a code enforcement officer out here when the flag goes back up to see if this homeowner is violating any codes. And he has the damn tattoo on his arm. But plain and simple, I respect anybody's point of uh, view or your way of living. That's what we're uh, in America for. The Confederate flag is not just for the racism. I understand that. You know, they like the racist points or they like the Confederate points. The actual what the flag represents and stuff. We got into the point where that flag is represented by the racist. When you fly it and you have it up, nine times out of ten they're going to think you're racist. You know you're not. You might be able to prove your argument, but just saying Trump has made it made it real easy to be stupid. He blatantly saying all these sexist, racist, uh, just idiotic things of what he's going to do or how he feels about these people or how things are 50-50 when one side is clearly, you know, more fucked up. You got tortures and shit. I mean, come on. Now all these stupid people are uh, coming up saying all this unnecessary shit. No Arabs allowed, blacks allowed. And she cut it off at that, so no telling what he was going into. And then he did the little Nazi sign because he says he's half German. Which, I think that's offensive to Germans. What the hell did I gotta do with uh, being a white supremacist? That's, that's flat out what it was. You're just a dick. This is a shake my head country. Cause that's all I seem to do every day. Nothing surprises you anymore, right? You knew that this guy was gonna be on the news. And I feel like they send uh, minority reporters there to get a reaction. I feel like they do that. Not necessarily wrong. Cause I'd like to, I like for you to show the ugly of that person, but don't set them up for failure, man. You don't, you don't know what they're doing over there. You took it down, which shows me that you, uh, you a little bit of a hoe too. If I was racist as hell, you know, I really didn't like those kind of people. I'm keeping that bitch up, just saying. Ain't gonna close my voice down. And what's that corny shit he said? Impaired my speech, but not my freedom of speech. That was whack as hell. So next time you wanna be racist, Keep that shit inside. Why do you have to let everybody else know? That's the thing I hate about most racists nowadays. You, you're doing all this stuff. This isn't just for the whites. It's just for everybody. You, you're saying all this stuff. You hate this person. You hate that person. But what happens 
when uh, you go into the store, you go to the bank, you go out somewhere, you go to a public setting where there's going to be minorities or that person of not your liking, whether their sexuality, their uh, race, their preferences, their religious, whatever, man, you don't say shit ever. It's just a hoe. Racists are hoes now. Most of them. Some of y'all just don't give a fuck. Nigger this and hang you this and y'all, I think y'all just need a hug. Like, that's too much anger. Just calm down. It sounds simple. I'm not getting to the whole point of the situation, but just stop being racist. Why? But in, in all due respect, fuck you, man.